Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's week 21 in the big old chunky monkey that we've got and it's been my oldest daughter's birthday and it's my um it was also my dad's birthday who is no longer with us. Um I took some photos of my daughter blowing out the candles and that with her kids while they was all here on her birthday. And then my stupid phone deleted everything um, without, I don't know how. So I've dug out a photo, this is from her first birthday, with my dad. And I love this photo, I've got a copy of this in my bedroom, um, I love it. And so I thought, right, I took it out of the frame and copied it, um, it was only a diddy one. And then I thought, cause it, I, it's in colour. But I scanned it, I wanted to do it in black and white. And then I thought it'd be a good idea to do everything in black and white. Like have a nice monotone um, page just for a change, you know. And to see how it comes out. So, we're going to get our big old thick book. And go under there. And then I've got a nice flat surface to work on. I think I'm just going to be working over here. But I may spill over into there so you'll probably notice i've done all that i'm going to move it now <laughs> because <laughs> you'll notice i've got a couple of letters in red it's because i've used these on different things and i didn't have an extra e or a d so i thought i'll color them in and yeah i'm going to move all this for a minute and then we'll bring it back so i hope you're all well and that you've had a good week i've had a really exciting week it's been lovely um you may have seen the video that i i did um i put up on sunday last week launching um the collaboration i'm doing with maggie at, at beach and sari i'm just chewing off you know the little bubble bits that you get when you um you've got something like that that you've got to push out a little die cut that you've got to push out of the paper right so i'm going to try it in marker pen if it don't come out too good well, let's go sharp it might be a bit blacker if it don't come out black enough i'll go over with black soot and then see where we end up right permanent marker seems to have done the trick and it looks pretty black so let's have a look let's compare yeah it's pretty much the same so we've got our letters sorted out um what am i going to grab i'll just put those to one side for a minute i wanted i've got a nice piece of white trim that i really like it's got to go down here i'm just going to pull the book to one side to measure so I don't cut off a bit that's too short. Right. Right. That, I wanted to go down there. And I know these sort of bits have got like the pinky tone on those sequins. But I don't mind that. And I'm going to have that going down there. So I think I'll get that laid down first. So I know where I am. You know, because... I'll be needing to that to stick things on that overlap that probably. But um yeah, I thought if I get that laid down, we're on our way, aren't we? We're started. So Yeah, it's been an exciting old week. I um with Maggie um I launched my um, or our junk journaling holiday by the sea that we're planning in Maggie's lovely home hometown on the Isle of Wight so we launched that and so far so good we've had um, quite a lovely response um, but yeah there's still some places so if you're interested Maggie's created a group called
called Collective of Journalists over on Facebook. I'm not really a one for Facebook. I don't think so. If ever you send a message or anything, I am on it and I'm in that group. I can barely um, just write my name or write, <laughs> write any odd post. I'm not great at Facebook. So yeah, I, I've had a thingy bob, a kind of notification saying I've got messages, but I don't even know how to do that like private messages so yeah if you've sent me a message on there i ain't gonna get it unfortunately so i do apologize but um yeah besides the point maggie's created a facebook group called collective of journalists and you can find out anything you want to find out about the little holiday that we're planning over on that group oh right i just want to rip out i've i've got this folder of old newspapers um that i like to take bits out of and i thought talk of the town sounded quite good seeing as it was um both birthdays well, and also it's my auntie's birthday as well this week as well my dad's was the 21st then my auntie was 85 and I'm really close to my auntie. She's like a second mum to me. She was 85, so I went round there. And then two days later, my eldest daughter was 27. So it's a lovely week with all the birthdays. And um, yeah, it's just brilliant. It's been really lovely. And yeah, we had a lovely dinner birthday cake and everything and I took all photos and then my phone decided that we weren't having none of it see this is why I don't really do that much of Facebook because most people are just like sort of putting things up on their phones and stuff like that I can't do that because my phone's rubbish I need a new one but yeah so if you are interested you can go over to the Facebook group or you can go in Fabrics of India Facebook group as well. You can message Maddie. And, or if you're unsure or can't find it, you can message me. And what I would do, because she's got all the paperwork and everything. I'm doing the sort of creative side. She's doing all the rest. And there's loads of work that she's been doing. It's mental. But, um, yeah, she's been so busy, bless her. But if you message me, I can just send you a link to her groups or her Facebook page so that you can look at her groups and add yourself. I'm not sure how it works. But, yeah, however you add yourself to a group, you can do that. I think everyone in the known universe knows. Oh, look what I've just done flipped it upside down onto the page yeah you don't want to do that luckily I'm going to be covering it up and I don't think I'm working on the pink side this week I might do it might overspill but yeah if not I can cover that up when I get to it it's no drama it'll probably I've got a bit of pen there from somewhere or other a bit of purple oh, I think that's probably spilt through from there, yeah, it has sort of got an hand there, so I can go right up to the edge and still put it on a slant how I want it, and yeah, that'll be fine, you won't see that, so I think I'll get that down now, but yeah, she's got all the info over there for you, if you want to check it out, um, a lot of the single rooms have gone. Um, what I would say, I've got Jamie coming with me, right? Because the sessions are only two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. And then um, you can do things with the group or you can go off and do your own thing. 
on your own or with your partner if you bought your partner you know or a friend you like it's only you're only leaving them for two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon and it's all inclusive the same like if your partner comes and they don't pay the same price that you come to do the whole thing they pay like a reduced price because it's not including all the kit to make the journal and the making together and everything the fabric it's not including none of that because you don't have to bring anything apart from yourself and a few tools you know like scissors and whatnot because everything else is paid for and included in the price so once you've booked and paid you haven't got to worry about any more money other than if you want to buy like a few souvenirs or whatnot right so sticking with this monotone thing i've got this like sort of gray sort of yeah dark gray it's got bits of black it um it's not jet black i did have one that's black and white it's jet black but i do prefer this and uh, like because it looks more old and that uh, i kind of like the bottom bit so I like this actually, the script. So I love the other side as well. Look at that. So yeah, now I've locked this bit off. Or I'm about to lock this bit off. I'll use that other bit and something else later on. Because I think that's lovely, isn't it? So yeah, let's just whack that to one side. And we're going to try and size this up. Right, I wanted to write in, or at least some of it. What have I done there? Oh. Okay, so. About there. Oh, sorry. Get rid of that. So, if we start in there, we come out. To, where's the end of the page about there right and then I'll lock a bit off so it's not so tall where's that bit I just pinched there it is I've just pinched it with me now <laughs> so that even if I can't see where I've marked I can feel it right yeah I think that's a bit too high so we get another bit off right Sorry, I've just got this leaning on my lap just to sort of line it up. That's it. Right. Yeah, that'd be perfect because I just wanted room for like a tag or two. So, oh, hang on. Maybe a little bit more off the side. Sorry, I'll just do this on my lap because it'll be tons quicker. Right, I've done it. Right. Because it doesn't need to be a massive pocket. And then I'll just ink around the edges. With black soot distress ink. And then I won't stick it on just yet. Because I want to get the couple bits down on the paper before I start messing about but I'll probably use it to, as a guide but right I've got this bit here that I fancied putting on um so where's the pocket I can so I can cut it off there and it'll look like it goes all the way down and then I'll use this somewhere else so We'll have that. And yeah, I, I never normally do just black and white. Well, I've never ever done just black and white before. I always do mainly a lot of colour. Or sticking with like creams and browns. Like natural sort of tones. Um, but yeah, I've never done just black and white. So, I mean, I might add something else. Fancy that quite going across there. 
but then I'm not sure how it will cut into the letters so I might have it going down there um, or like that and maybe putting a little lip there for something right let's see where's our photograph we're going to have that I think I might be better off sticking the letters and that down first so that we know how to judge what we're doing. Right, I'm working out my placement of my letters. I think that black standing on there, oh, and I can see I've got a little bit of red poking through there. I've just seen it. That's not going to stand out how I want it to. So, I'm just thinking quick, I might put a little bit of white over there. Don't worry about it looking all oddball, it'll turn out fine because that will be being hidden by that. So it's not like you'll see an abrupt ending. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, it is what I'm going to do. Because I want the letters to stand out. Right, I've got all them stuck down. I didn't keep the camera on all the way through because that's just painstakingly boring isn't it just watching someone gluing something down and you're just waiting thinking hurry up finish gluing right i was thinking i might have the happy birthday in there that i've cut out that's just a little a little dog can you hear my granddaughter in the background <laughs> calling out bless her right i'm just gonna i think run over the back of this with a prick stick very carefully i've got the thing upside down right and very gently because i don't want to tear it but yeah i don't want to get stuck up to the eyeballs oh look i have torn it as well oh that might still be all right we'll see if not i'll cut another one out But the happy is all right. Happy. Just get it really right. Up a bit. Back there, I think. Right. Oh, yeah, it will be. I can see it will be. And we've got that bit. Joining onto that bit. Right, perfect, Let's push that down. Right, I'll just poke that gently in a place. That's it, so it's joint. That's it, no one will never know except me and you. No one will know, so yeah, keep that secret. So, I'm going to have that there so that I can put a little tag in to journal on how I like to. Um, and I thought, if I had that going across, or maybe even the other one if, it, if it's long enough, I could cut another bit off, but that just about goes, yeah, it'll definitely go if I put a flower or something like there. And then I was thinking put another piece of something else, like a little tiny bit like this, so that I can have a tag sticking in the front of the pocket. So I'm going to grab another contrasting piece of paper. Right, so I've got a little contrasting piece and I'm going to round the corners at the top pieces. Right, just need to trim that bit off with the scissors because I think them corner rounders might be on their way out. Obviously, everything's got a shelf life, and everything nothing lasts forever. Just, um, yeah, every now and then, some things seem like they're going to last forever, but they don't. But I think they're on their way out. They're not doing what I want them to do all the time. Yeah, I'm going to stick that on, trying to get the tiniest bit of glue on that bottom bit. Hopefully. I'll manage it because I want it like a little lip so that once I've got the um, bit of ribbon going across 
we've got a little tuck on the front for a smaller tag hopefully right just get that central i haven't cut it the same length i've come in what quarter of an inch roughly on each end maybe a bit more and i'm gonna have that like that where's the bit there it is right i'm gonna have that straight edge there and then we'll go as far as we can go with the other piece and then i'll cover with the end because it doesn't quite reach the end but i'm not going to cut another bit off i know i've only got a lean behind me it sounds really lazy <laughs> But it's not for blood that I'm being lazy. It's just with it being that close, I might as well use that bit. Seeing as I am going to decorate it anyway, it ain't worth cutting another bit, is it? For the sake of, look at that. That's just a ridiculously small, like, 16th. Look, when I stretch it out, it does go all the way across, really. But I'm going to have a little flower on there anyway because I fancy it. I had these lovely little black and white flowers. So I want one of them there. Which I think will look nice. And I'm really liking this. I've never ever done it like this before. I might add a little bit of colour. I'm not sure. But like, I could add a bit of pink. Or green was always Rose's favourite colour. And yeah, I know like with that, with those sequins... Like, it depends on the way you look at them. Some ways you look at them, they look white. Sometimes they look clear. And then others, they look pink or like a pinky yellowy. So, I know there's that little piece of colour. But I think that nice that sort of reflects to the opposite page nicely. Well, I think so. But, yeah, it, um... It has, it's been a lovely week, again, seeing the kids, me and Jamie went out for a, for lunch one day, because it's been nice and hot. We drove down to the coast, which didn't take long, and yeah, we was there eating our lunch in the sun, which is always nice when you've got the sea breeze blowing, you can smell the sea and breathing in the sea air it does you good doesn't it there's always a breeze when you're standing next to the sea and yeah i think it does do the world good and that's another thing about <laughs> that I, it just reminded me i wasn't sort of saying all that just to go into this but that is another lovely thing about this little holiday of our uh, that we're having doing our junk journaling by the sea because it is the hotel is directly opposite the beach so you've got to see like you can see the sea from the hotel you've just got to walk out of the hotel doors and cross to the beach that's all you have to do and i just think that that's wicked because yeah i love being by the sea and yeah Jamie's just got a different car and um, that's all I've been saying so let's drive down to the coast like over and over I'm going to move this one up I feel like I want them overlapping a bit uh, but I want it right I want it how I want it and then I think I'll have the bow underneath yeah that's how I want it I did, it just didn't quite look how I wanted it to look that's it and I can have the little towels of the bow poking out the bottom of the book that's a little bit better than yeah and then I can have a little tag poked in there tuck in tuck in like that and then a bigger tag right so I just found a couple of little bits of scraps that are perfect for my little tags so I just want to stick them on some copy dyed paper, which I have a piece here. Oh, that's gorgeous. And 
I've got a tear there, so that's why I'm not saving this to be bound into a journal, even though it's got some gorgeous markings. But yeah, a little tear from when it was touched before it dried. Because when it's wet, it's ever so fragile, the paper, isn't it? it really is. But then, if you just leave it, it's fine. Even like thinner paper than that that I've used in the past. But obviously in my household, which as most of you know, is very busy. There's a lot of us. Um, leaving things in the kitchen to dry for long, long periods of time on the kitchen table and that because I rarely bake my papers now and again I do just because it gives you a different texture again and makes them more crinkly so I, I do some but not all and sometimes don't bother at all when I'm coffee time because most of them you don't need it you, you, well you don't ever need it it's just if you want to but yeah I don't often bake mine Especially when you're backing things, it, um, because yeah, baking them makes them a bit more crinkly to the sound and just in, in appearance and what's it called, yeah, when I'm using it to sort of back things, that sometimes makes it, um, don't get a night as as much of a smooth surface for writing on. I've just got a big dollop of this glue stick on there. But it don't matter because I'm going to be sticking something on there in a minute. And then, yeah, we've got this nice little teeny tag for the little lip that we made and the little belly band. So, there's our things. And that has just gone really wonky. I straighten that up somehow. Right, only the teeniest bit I want off. But yeah, it just went. I went a bit AWOL with my scissors. Right, that's it. Just getting that bit of paper off. And I want to grab my little thing that I use to cut off my little corners. So, we've got nice even tops to our little tag. And then I can ink around this one. Now, that one, I think I'm going to do the top different to how I would normally do it. So, we can probably ink all the way around that one. I can always change my mind halfway through, can't I? Because... It might not look how I want it. So, we'll give it a go though. Because I want to decorate this one in a different way. So, that's fine. Right. We'll get this one out of the way quick. Punch a little hole. Right, I've just set the eyelet. I've got a little piece of um, sari silk that is just the lightest cream I had, like a real off-white. I'm going to, because it's such a small tag, I'll tore that in half. Because the tag's so little, I don't want it to look like all ribbon and no tag. <laughs> I'll... I might have done it a little bit too short. I don't think I have though. I think it's just the getting in bit. Because, yeah. It's not very long, but I didn't want it very long. So, that's fine. Because, once I've journaled on that later, it'll go in there. Like that. Oh, I like that. Right, so that's one bit. And so, yeah, thought something a bit different. So, 
let's leave you on myself and we'll get some I thought maybe putting this across the top maybe with a couple of other ones right yes so I've decided I'm going to have this going across the very top just notice I've got a little bit of blue ink right there well it's, it's got to be blue ink blue paint something that I've splashed around the room unknowingly but it don't matter because I'm going to be overlapping it slightly with these so we'll just go we don't Right. Yeah, I can have it about there, the first line of blue, and that sticking on nicely. Oh, turn that bit off. Right. So that's our first bit. Then I thought we could have that just overlapping it slightly. Move that out of the way. And that'll cover that blue, which is handy as well. And that will go like that. And it's just a variation on having the old and the what's it called the eyelet with a bit of ribbon it's just a, something a bit different a little change from the norm a nice frilly top to it because i want to i know it's black and white but i want some bits to be very feminine for my beautiful daughter but I think she'll like what I've done because I think that looks really pretty, don't you? Right, and let's see how it will look on our page for week 21. Right, yep, yeah, look, I can have that going to the side like that, and you can see the happy birthday and the rosy and the picture of her, and then you can move it over and you can see that I've put that. And I want to have it leaning that way though because I really love that picture of my daughter and my dad from her first birthday and yeah she loves it too it's one of her favourites so I know that she will really like this I could do another tag maybe what predominantly white with a little bit of black but um right let's see I might have something in here uh no right I'm going to leave it as it is really because I think that's plenty of room for me to journal I can always make another tag if I need it but I really love how this has come out just using two colours and it don't have to be black and white does it you can just sort of experiment just with two colours being anything you know instead of like I use quite a lot of colour on some of these pages but yeah I really like the nice clean look of that so I hope you enjoyed it too and liked it and like I hope that it sort of might give you an idea of like doing something yourself with just two tones so thank you very much for watching I really do appreciate you all new subscribers thank you for coming over and joining our channel we're really pleased to have you and um yeah if anyone's interested about our little holiday by the sea um i'll leave the link below to maggie and her facebook group and all of that because um yeah it's well i'll leave a link to her etsy shop where you can message her as well as yeah i'll try and do the facebook link i don't even know if you can do that but yeah if you can't i'll leave the thing to her etsy and you can message her there so yeah because there is lots of information about it and it is going to be super super cool and i'm really excited to meet the, those of you that have already booked so with that being said i'm going to crack on i've got the kids coming over in a minute so they're staying for a few days because it's half term this week in the UK. Well, in our area anyway. So, yeah, I've got the kids coming over for a few days. So, it's going to be busy, busy, busy. So, 
if I don't get on in the next few days, you know, I'm always thinking of you, I'm always grateful of you, and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot for watching, I love you all lots, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.